messengers, all of them, Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, and Abraham, Moses, all of them, we respect them, we honor them, do the righteous things, don't fornicate, don't commit, uh, don't kill, don't commit adultery, don't uh, drink alcohol, all of these things are mentioned in the Quran. So if it was the work of the devil, it's not possible. It's not possible. So then we put this on aside. Then the next thing, if it was the work of Muhammad, his, his thing, he put things together and he made it up. Now, if it was the work of Muhammad, there are some chapters in the Quran, Allah, which we believe the creator of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is the same term that was used by Jesus, this of him. He said, Allahu in Aramaic, by the way, that's the language of Aramaic. 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 You, you know, Jesus spoke Aramaic. Jesus, peace be upon him, he spoke Hebrew and he spoke Aramaic, yes? Because he was at that time in that area. And Aramaic, they use the same Allah as well, which means Jesus was used the same term. The same thing was used by Moses, Elohim, Allah, yeah? So that we're talking Allah, about. Allah means God. Allah means the one God. The one God. So Allah in the Quran has criticized Muhammad, peace be upon him. There are certain things, not mistakes. You could say certain things, certain choices that he has done. And God has said, may Allah, Allah said, may, may Allah forgive you. Why have you done this? Saying you shouldn't have done this. And this Quran is not just only, uh, we read it, it's literally, it's not just only, done, it's not just only said by Muhammad. It's, we, re, we recite it openly in public. Yeah. So all these millions of Muslims, they recite this. There, are, there is one incident that the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was dealing with the pagans, with the, with the leaders of the pagans. He was dealing with them, advising them to accept Islam. And then they rejected him. They said, they said bad things to him. So he got angry. He was angry. As soon as he was angry, there's a believer who was blind. He came in at the time when the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was angry. And then he was asking about his faith. He was, I wanted to ask certain things. While well, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was angry. And then Allah has criticized him, said to him, you show a grumpy face. You show angry face to a blind man. No one was in that room except Muhammad, peace be upon him, and, and the blind man. And yet Allah has revealed the Quran to be recited. We recite it on a daily basis. On this verse, God is criticizing him, saying to him, why did you show this angry face to this blind man when he came to ask about his faith? So the question is, if the Quran was the work of Muhammad, do you think he will put this in the book? Impossible, yes? Then what is the last and the final choice? The Quran is inspired by who? Now, me and you, we accept that this Quran revealed by God, and me and you accept and this Quran, this Quran said clearly Muhammad is the messenger of God. He was sent by God to us to guide us to the straight path. Now, John, you accept Muhammad is the prophet and messenger of God. Okay. That means me and you are on one page. Yeah? And we said in the beginning, you will accept to be Muslim if it makes sense to you. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense, but at the same time, I need, I need to like, learn this. I'll, listen, I will tell you something. Our agreement in the beginning, if it makes sense to you today, you will accept to be Muslim. But well, that's one thing. The other thing, the other thing, Islam is a journey of learning. Meaning, what you know now, you implement, and then you learn something new, and you implement, and you learn something new, and you implement. Yes? So now, you know now, there is one God, and Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of God. Yes? You know this. Implement this. Submit to this. And then go to the next step, to learn. And we will be there to teach you. We will be there to help you. We will be there to educate you about the Quran. We will be there to educate you how we pray. We are there for you all the time. So Islam is a journey. We're not saying to you, okay, you accept Islam and then you go. We say to you, Islam is a journey of learning. But the key thing in Islam, what you learn, you implement, and then you go to the next step. So that's why we'll be there to teach you. But now what we, we said, since it made sense to you, there is one God, yes? And you accept that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of God, yes? Then say the testimony. To testify. That's how Islam. To say, I testify. There is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah, Allah the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of Allah. As simple as that. To say what you know, what you believe, and that's it.
This is for you as a beginner. Yeah? You accept this? Yeah. Okay, then. I don't want to rush myself to like go into something, something I don't know fully. Yeah. Because I know what you said is like what you believe. At the same time, I have like beliefs from my, from my, my recent religion. Yeah. But I'm not like uh, into religion and stuff. Right? Yeah. My point is to you, my brother John. Firstly, what you know from the previous religion that you have, there are certain things which is common things between that and That's Islam. That's why I, I, well, one second, let me just finish. I'm done. For example, the message of the prophets and messengers is one. Mm -hmm. Worship this one God, yeah? And let's associate with God any process. Don't worship a human being, don't worship angels, don't worship things, don't worship stones, no trees, no angels. Just worship this one God. You accept this, yes? So this is the teaching of Islam. Throughout the Quran is this. There is no hidden. That's why we give you the Quran. The Quran Islam is an open book for you to serve. And that's how it is. Secondly, the teachings of Islam talking about morality. High standard morality. Not for decade. Not to commit adultery. Not to drink alcohol. Not to kill. You know, and this is the main, those are things, which is common things. No, no, I need how to finish. Do you, how, do you Islam, how do you think the Islamic world is doing on, on, on those sins? Let me just finish, please. Let me just finish, please. I'll finish. I'll come to you. Yeah? So, so you see here, that is the teachings of Islam. So it teaches us all of these, these high standards of morality that we have it in Islam. So we implement it to the best of our ability. We do what we can in order to please God. And that's why, and we as Muslims, we are committed, we are devoted to, us, to, to Allah. And like we pray five times a day, that shows our commitment towards it. Yeah, towards Islam, towards God, towards our Creator. We fast the month of Ramadan. That there is one month we fast, we abstain from food and drink. And you know, it's something which is which we do it for the sake of God, for the sake of Allah. And as well, for example, we pay charity, obligation, obligatory charity the, to the poor and the needy ones. We pay, for example, from our savings, 2.5 percent, for example, to the poor, which goes to the poor and the needy ones in the world, not just only in one place. And we are the most charitable people on earth which we are known with this as Muslims. So all of these things, these are high standard morality that we have as Muslims. And we do the Hajj, the pilgrimage, once in a lifetime to go to Mecca, where all the Muslims, they go there, the house of Allah, which was rebuilt by Abraham, peace be upon him, with his son Ishmael. And then, which is the pilgrimage. People, we do there for Hajj. We do the Hajj according, which is the pilgrimage which Allah has given. This is the teachings of Islam. So we are not introducing new things to you, rather than, we we'll just only, you need to embrace what you have, yeah? To embrace what you have. So, so simple. We, me and you accept there is one God worthy to be worshipped. Me and you accept that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of God, according to what we said, to embrace this. That is a journey of learning. Journey that is a process you learn on a daily basis. Every day is a day that is a blessing for us and when every day that we learn something new. That's how it is. And we are there for you to teach you. We are there for you to help you. We are there to, to help you to understand more about your faith. We run as well a Salah course, which is we teach people how to pray, how to perform the prayer. We do this. We will, and we will be there to help you. Yeah? But just only, Brother John, what we have said, what we agreed in the beginning. Where are you from, by the way? Philippines. You know, I know many Filipino brothers, mashallah, they are always, generally, they are always, they will, they will commit to what they said, yeah? yeah but, but at the same time, I would say, I read this book, right, like, understand what the teaching is, right? Yeah. I would take consideration of, like, yes. knowing which religion I'm choosing. Yeah. Uh, I wish you respect that. I respect this, I respect this, but, but our agreement was different, am I right? No, no, I, <laughs> no, no that's what I said. That's fine. Right. I, I, there's no problem. Everyone has their own their own journey. It's fine. Everyone they have their own journey. But my point is, if you know this is something which is true, embrace it. So that's what I'm here to like. Yeah. Understand. Okay. Where do you live, by the way? Uh, I live in Crickwood. Crickwood. So not far. So take my number, inshallah. If you want to, if you have questions, yeah. yeah? If you have questions, you could address your questions to me, yeah. and then, uh, by the way. On Wednesday, are you available Wednesday evening? Wednesday evening.
Yeah, Wednesday around 6.30. 6 yeah. Let me write it for you. Yeah. This is my name. Is Brother Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah, just write this. Text me your name. Sheikh Muhammad. Let me finish. No, not yet. Text me your name. John uh, from Philippines, yeah? Yeah? All right? So, are you are you available on uh, on Wednesday? Uh, Job. Are you working? Yeah, yeah, on Wednesday. Do you work on Wednesday evening? That's I'm not sure. I'm gonna know okay. tomorrow. So what I want you to do when you go home, yeah? You see here the first chapter of the Quran here. Look. Yeah? Have you read it before? Read it. In the name of Allah. Enter the entirely merciful and special mercy. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the entirely merciful and special mercy, sovereign of the day of recompense. Recompense. Yeah. It is you we worship and you we ask for your help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have earned your anger or those who have estranged. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think of this? Basically, it's telling about God. 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 Guidance. Guidance. From God. See here, from God. You see here in Islam, the guidance in Islam is in three ways. God will show you the path. God leading you to that path. God keeping you steadfast upon that path. So we always, you know how many times we recite this chapter in a day? We recite it in our fast daily prayer. We recite it minimum, minimum 17 times a day. Minimum. We keep asking God to keep guiding us to the straight path. See how beautiful it is? So God has brought, we don't believe in coincidence. God has brought you to us today. You came here today. And Allah wanted to show you the truth. Alhamdulillah, at least now, you accept this. Even if it's between you and God, to say the shahada, if you know the brother. You don't have to, just as I mentioned, when I said to embrace what you know, at least you know where you belong. Because now, according to this, you belong to Islam, my brother. You don't belong to Christianity. You don't belong to Judaism, you don't belong to Hinduism, you don't belong to Buddhism, you belong to Islam, from what you said. Then embrace well, what we are saying to you. Embrace what you, where you belong. You say it, then you feel good about yourself. You know that you, this is where you belong, you belong to Islam. And study, and learn, and, and understand. We have no problem, you have the chance, you have the whole life for you to do it. But for now, embrace what you know. That's what we are saying, yeah? And let me know on Wednesday, yeah? Please let me know on Wednesday. Brother, you know Regent's Park most? Yeah, yeah, Baker Street. Yeah. Baker Street. Yeah, on Wednesday we do, we run the Salah course at 6.30. 6.30. Yeah. If you are able to come with the brother, then come with him, inshallah. All right? Exactly. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. No, we don't. I'm done.